Austin, Mesh Fitness. Uh, let's do a little bit of uh, at-home workout. This one, we're gonna focus uh, a little bit more on the shoulders, the chest, a little bit of core, um, and uh, you just need a little bit of floor space. You don't need a whole lot of space to do this. So, let's get started. Get in your push-up position, okay? First thing we're gonna do, you're gonna bring your, uh, your knee, I'm gonna do my right knee, to the outside of my left hand, and I'm gonna set my hip to the floor, and then go left, then do a push-up. Again. Let's do 10 of these. Now this time, I'm gonna bring my right knee to my wrist, so I'm not gonna to go to the outside. That outside was kind of a little bit of a hip stretch. Now we're just gonna do a little bit of a core knee to the wrist, knee to the wrist, push up. Let's do 10 of these. Now we're going to work on some rolls, okay? Forward rolls. So we're not going to go over our head. We're not going to do this. That gymnast style, over my head, I'm going to go over my shoulder. I'll tell you why in a second. <clears throat> but what you're going to do is reach your arm through your legs. Touch the back side of your shoulder to the mat or the floor. Look up toward the ceiling, get on your toes, stick your butt up in the air. You can come under like I did there. See how I kind of rolled under? That's a little bit of an advanced tip. We'll talk more about that in a second. But arm between the legs, shoulder to the floor, look up, butt in the air, and just roll forward. As you roll forward, tuck, keep your legs tucked, your knees tucked to your chest. That'll help with your uh, core a little bit. Now go backwards, okay? Same thing, you're gonna go on the back side of your shoulder, not on your head. You can use your hands wherever you need to on the floor for support. You're gonna flip your feet up. But again, keep your knees close to your chest. So you're not doing this like wild flailing. Knees close to your chest. Should be very controlled. Once you get comfortable, you can either keep your legs uh, your arm in between your legs, or you can simply tuck. You can, you can uh, ditch doing this. You can just tuck your arm in, but put your shoulder to the floor, down, back. Okay? Again, keep your um, knees tucked. That's going to help your core. It's going to give you a little bit of an ab workout. <clears throat> and switch sides. Your hand can help stabilize. It can help keep your head off the mat so that you're not putting strain on your neck. Well, let's just do a, you know, just a handful of those. Back to push ups, knee to uh, wrist. 10.
caught me daydreaming. I might have done 11 there. <laughs> I should have kept track. <clears throat> so now we're going to do some more rolls. That's it. Simple workout in terms of not a whole lot of movements. It's, it's, it's challenging, it's difficult, but it's, it's simple in terms of just a few movements. <clears throat> All right, let's talk uh, technique tips. I always like to give technique tips to my, uh, my workouts. Uh, I'm not going to talk technique tips for push-ups. I've, I've done that in previous videos. If you want to check that out, please do so. Um, but let's talk about these rolls. <clears throat> so a couple things I want to explain about the roll. Uh, when you start out and you're brand new, reaching between your legs helps you to put your shoulder the back side, not the front, not the top, the back side of your shoulder to the floor. That reaching through helps with that. So when you're brand new, do it that way. As you get uh, comfortable with it, you can start just to keep your arm tucked. It can be wherever. It can be on the floor, it can be against you, it doesn't matter. As long as you're putting that back side of your shoulder to the floor. Okay? Don't, don't come over your head, you'll hurt your neck. That's why it's good to go over your shoulder. Now, <clears throat> as you do those, remember to keep your knees tucked tight to your chest. For one, it helps you to stay tight for self-defense purposes. So if you're, for some reason, having to roll away from somebody, you're keeping yourself compact. You're not allowing them to get a hold of a limb or kick something. You're staying tight like a ball. Uh, it's also good for control. So it's a good core workout to keep your knees tucked, um, but it gives you great control over your rolling, okay? So this is, I said earlier, I'll talk about why I, why I personally don't like to go front roll. Here's why. When I do a front roll, I, there's no coming back. Once you get started, you know, once you start, once you get to about here, there's no coming back. You have to go forward. And you're going over your neck. So you've got the potential to put strain on your neck. When you go over your shoulder, watch. When I go over my shoulder, I can get all the way here and be like, wait, never mind. I can come back. You have so much control over your roll. So for self-defense purposes, if somebody's, whatever, they're going to kick me or for some reason, I need to get out of the way and I'm going to roll out of the way. I can start to go, but then for some reason, they change their direction. And now they're, whatever, coming around this way or something. I can block. I've got my feet. I've got just so much ability to control and guard myself. And I can come back. I can come right back. So I can start to go. I can go all the way. I can come back easily. Or I can go part, part of the way and bring myself back. You can't do that when you do that front row because you're going over your head. So for me personally, I, I'm a big advocate of the, the shoulder rolls. You have so much more control. You can stay tight. It's good core fitness. Uh, just so many good things with that, with that roll. That's it. So quick and easy. Um, I'll continue to put out some of these other videos and uh, I'll talk as always, I'll do technique talk either before or after the exercise to kind of explain why I do what I do. Thank you.